Hi there. Welcome to another video in my series on percentages. And in this one, we're going to be looking at percentage change. Now, when it comes to percentage change, the kind of questions you're likely to get are things like, what is the percentage increase or percentage decrease in something? Or what is the percentage profit or percentage loss? And they involve a change in going from some particular value to some other value. And in order to work out what that percentage change is, we need to use this formula here. Percentage change is equal to the change that's taken place compared with the original. And this sets up a fraction, and we need to find out what that fraction is of 100. So I've got three examples here which I'll work through. These are very common kinds of examples that you get, which should demonstrate this kind of concept. Now, in the first one, we've got a magazine last year was sold for 50p, and this year it's sold for 55p. What is the percentage increase? Or we could say percentage gain, because clearly this has gone up in price. So in order to work out what that percentage increase is, using this formula here, let's just put the intro, which would be, say, percentage change. And that percentage change is, in this case, an increase. So we'll say percentage increase. And the change that's taken place is that it's gone from 50p up to 55p. So it's gained 5p. So we just put 5 there. And we need to compare this with what it was originally, which is 50 pence. So we've got that fraction then. 5p compared with 50 pence. And we want to know what this fraction is of 100. So remember, of is to times. And there's many ways we can do this. We could do 5 times 100, which is 500, and then divide by 50. And it will come out as 10. Or you might just want to cancel it down. 5 out of 50, if we divide top and bottom by 5, is 1 tenth. And one tenth of a hundred or a hundred divided by ten is going to end up equaling ten. Ten percent in this case. Okay? Now, in this next one, we've got here, due to pollution in a river, the average length of a fish has decreased from eight centimetres to six centimetres. What is the percentage decrease? So... In answer to this, let's just put an intro here. This will be the percentage decrease. And the change that's taken place has been a change going from 8 centimetres, which the fish's length originally was, down to 6 centimetres. So it's a drop in 2 centimetres. So we compare that change to with what the fish were originally. And the length originally was eight centimeters. So it's two compared with eight, two eighths. And we want to know what this fraction is of 100. So again, you could do two times 100 if you wanted, 200 and divide that by eight. Or you could cancel this one down. Look, two into two goes once, two into eight goes four. So when you compare two, with 8, it's a quarter. And a quarter of 100, or 100 divided by 4, is 25. So that percentage decrease is 25%. Now for the last question here. In a sale, a sofa is reduced from £2,500 to £2,000. What is the percentage reduction? So for an intro for this, we'll just put percentage reduction. And what's that reduction been? Well, it's gone from 2,500 down to 2,000 pounds. So it's been reduced by 500 pounds. So it's 500 pounds compared with what it was originally, which was 2,500. And we want to know what this fraction is then of 100. 
and I can see this one cancels very nicely. 500 will go into 500 once and 500 will go into 2500 five times. So we end up with one fifth, one fifth of 100 or 100 divided by 5 and that is 20, 20%. 20 okay, so thanks for listening and I hope that's given you some idea of how we go about working out a percentage change.